Hello everyone, welcome to Cuckman Grub's coding class. So you know how websites will just sometimes automatically be in dark mode because you've enabled dark mode on your computer? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So here I just have a little website I've made. Literally all it is is hello world. You can see the code here is just an H1 tag that says hello world. So what we're gonna do is let's add in a style sheet because this is done using CSS and then we'll add a media query so at media and then we do prefers dash color dash scheme colon dark or you can also do light if you want it to be explicit light mode rather than explicit dark mode and then I'm just gonna do inside of here you can set any styles you want to occur specifically when the user has specified on their operating system that they want dark mode. I'm just gonna do body background colon two C two one two C two C, which is a nice dark gray, and color white. Now, if I go back here, you'll see the background is gray and the text is white. So if I open up the console here really quickly. Firefox, I don't know if Chrome has this in the developer tools, probably, where you can manually switch between the two color scheme preferences just right here for testing. So if I click on prefers light mode, it'll switch right back to light mode. If I uncheck that, it'll go to my default, which is dark mode, and so it's dark, and I can also explicitly define dark mode, but that'll be the same because I already have dark mode turned on. Now, another thing you can do, which is really cool, is you can put all of your colors in one place using CSS variables. You do colon root, which is the same as selecting the HTML element, but this is like more proper or something. I don't know. But you can set all of your colors using variables here. And then whenever you need to access them, you just do this. And then what you can do is you can put this inside of the prefers color scheme media query and just change the colors around based on what the user is preferring. So yeah, that was a cool little CSS trick that you can use. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember to forget 